What I've been doing this morning is like, this is a very old painting. I think I painted it even before COVID. It's funny how we go now before COVID, after COVID, during COVID, that's my life. Um, I painted it, I think like maybe 2018, could be 17. Should have written the date. So what I want to do is I want to put some sunflowers. This is a little painting I did at um, Finish. It was this girl and you could go sit with her. And she just would take one or two people at a table, which was very nice. And I painted this with her. It was so much fun. I always like to paint with other people because they always show me a little trick or tip that I didn't know. And um, I also made this little thing because I wanted to just keep it close by because I want the sunflowers to actually look like a field of sunflowers like down there you can't really see it much but over here you can see it has big leaves just for a reminder for myself this is a little purse i made a little bag with a zipper where you can put some of your stuff in that's just cute so i'm just gonna keep this close by i'm gonna keep this painting up there and what i did is I have all these lines down here and I don't want to paint over them so I kind of took some of this masking tape from the dollar store I put it on here and then I just cut it with another metal ruler like in little thin strips with a little I think I don't know what you call these little knives this is also a dollar tree Knife. they should sponsor me. I advertise a lot for them. Okay, so now all I do is I pull up a little strip and I'm just gonna put that where the lines is because I don't want my lines to go away. So that's what I've been doing. It doesn't need to be a hundred percent. I just want an idea where the line is. If it covers some of them, it's not too bad. I can always come back. So I can take this out of the way, this out of the way. I don't know why I have that here. So I painted this and this is like I put a wind pump what you call it in English or oh, windmill I don't know but I put that up there I branded it a little bit put my name in there <laughs> and um, okay but you know in the mornings you will see the the sky changing but you don't see the Sun yet because it's still behind the behind there so I think that's what I'm gonna go for and right now I just want to paint a little bit of a mountain up there I need a bigger brush this is too small let's get something a little bigger here I just oops love using an angle brush I hope you can see the brush I usually, what I do is I wet my brush, sorry my water is dirty from yesterday, and I kind of take some of the paint off and then I'm just gonna go up here and I want some kind of a, a mountain there, I'm trying to go very light. I'm just going to cover most of this up, might even come in a little lighter down here, yeah. a little bit of yellow.
<laughs> you know, but yeah, we can just, I don't know why, I have went into the white there. I just want to make like a little tree line, maybe. It comes down a little. in there okay maybe the rate's coming through too much over here I'm gonna get a little bit of black just to darken that a little my brown a little bit up there I want this mountain to be kind of in the back. Okay. And then I want something lighter in the front. So that's the one in the back. Then we're gonna come with something. A little lighter up here. And it still looks, I need to get up, it's very shiny where I'm looking at it. I also don't like this very straight line down here. Let's get some green in here. Just make an illusion of some bushes down here. I think the sunflowers are going to cover most of that. a little greener okay I'm just gonna switch all of this around because now I'm just gonna go to my yellow and I'm gonna start doing the sunflowers I'm gonna start from the front and I was thinking to maybe put more sunflowers like like put them over here where I have the green and then I'll put a little bit of a field over there and then just work it into all of this is sunflower but then leave this this space open we'll see how it looks if it works out so um, now I went to Ireland December, January, so in the middle of the winter I was there. And then um, I'm going to put a little bit more of the light yellow there. I should have done it before I did the. Now that I'm talking about Ireland, I feel like that's what I need to do. <laughs> um, so when I was there, I had to take my granddaughter to school every morning. And oh, the the sky the colors in the mornings but just like oh, so amazing it's like sometimes i'm like if i had to paint this nobody would believe me because it's just it's just too much you know how i'm just trying to like dry brush it a little bit so it's not so much paint yeah on the sun too just come up over there so it looks like it's it's coming up <laughs> yeah the colors were just like amazing but i think it's also because they're so much more north than where i am now 
So sometimes they will see some of the northern lights over there. That's enough of the sun coming out. We can always put a little bit more if we need to. We've lightened it up. There's hope. The day is breaking over here. Okay, so now I can just go to, I can put a little bit. You see, I just, is too much. Every time I look at it, I see a little place where I can maybe do something. I like playing around. This is just fun, fun, fun. No pressure. <laughs> if it doesn't look good, it's okay. We will survive. So right now I am going to start with the flowers. For and I'm just brightening up my yellow. And I'm using white because the white is opaque and the yellow is very, very transparent. So by using white with this yellow, I make it a little bit more opaque. And I need something opaque because I need it to be on top of and covered whatever's behind it. If I was just using a white, white background or a beigey background, I would not use as much white because the white does make it a little stuff and doesn't go into the fabric and doesn't just dye the fabric. Let me put that dirty paint away. Let's get some paint water. I'm getting some clean paint water here. You can see where I'm mixing my colors. Let's try it on here. So I'm just going to do little strokes like that. Might be too small. I might have to go bigger for the ones in the front. So I'm going to dip it in that yellow. And then I'm just going to get the tip of white. And then I'm just going to go put it down. Not worrying about the core right now, I just want enough petals going around. See, I can even like this a lot of painting in the middle. I can go grab some of that, and that's all I'm gonna do now. And then I'll come back, I'll put in the core over there. See, so that's what I'm gonna do for now, I think. The size would be okay. Do I want it bigger? Let's see if I'd make a bigger one. Yeah. Let's just see. If I, well, maybe I want it bigger in the front. So I'm like trying to go that small. That's not going to work. I need to. Much bigger over here. And the brush should like form the little. The shape of the flower and I'm like going in an oval shape. Just to get more petals in because I want it to look like the sunflower that produces the seeds and not the, the, the one that's the flower and has no use. Um, so for now I am going to use that size and I'm just going to start here. Yeah, I want this to be in the front so if there's a flower behind it the flower needs to be behind it. But let's just start with a few over here. Let's go big. I think I need more. I 
And if it's transparent, you can always come back and add some more. Doesn't need to be perfect for now. We just want an idea of where the flowers are going to be. Get some petals in there. Um, might get one over here. If you roll it in the paint, kind of, it like keeps the shape of the brush. Okay, we can be a uh, while painting these sunflowers. That's why it's so good to, that's just therapy to me, it's not. Usually when I paint, I don't look at the time. But I definitely don't want you to sit on the line for two hours, so you should hurry up a little bit and, and just get some of it done. Um, maybe we want one it's kind of still hanging down so if it's hanging down you will see the petals in the back of it and then you will see more petals wait let's make, let's make the back ones a little darker and then you'll see some of the the ones in the front, that would be a lighter color, and then we will have the, the stem over here. So I'm just going to have like a, a greenish stem over here, maybe make it a bit darker. And it will come down like that so you will have more of the, the core over there so it's like hanging if you get my drift <laughs> let's keep on going some more uh, and people that are interested to learn about fabric paint I'm thinking about creating a basic course where I just teach you everything I know. I mean, I know a lot of little things and they come to mind as I do stuff, but just to teach you the basics, painting you can learn everywhere, but to, to learn the basics of fabric paint. And the way I paint is like, you can totally do this with acrylics also. It's, acrylics is just easier because it's not as tra transparent as what I'm doing right now. Okay, maybe get a bigger one over here. Just remember, as you come to the front, they get bigger. And then, so I want to keep the oval shape of them. There we go. Um, see that's why I taped it so now I don't need to worry to try and get around uh, whatever I painted there. The ideal would be first paint the flowers and then Come and paint whatever you want to paint. I'll get a bigger one up here. As we go over it. I 
I always buy the darker yellow because if you buy this light yellow it's going to be so transparent. The paint that I use is water-based, so to make it thinner, you can mix it with water. But the more water you put with it, the more it becomes like a, more of a transparent and um, runny. So the thinner the paint, the more runny it is. I want my fields to be full of flowers. I have a very good crop this year. There we go. Um, I don't know if I want this to be open and then have little flowers over there. Maybe not. Maybe I just want flowers. So I have the ones over here now and then I want I want them to go here. Aren't they just beautiful? Sunflowers is one of the flowers you can actually buy if you have cats. Most flowers are very um, poisonous to cats. My daughter, who doesn't have children, but has cats who are her children. This cat once ate some lilies and we were laughing and then she looked it up and it was so poisonous for that cat. So we rushed the cat to the vet and the cat had to stay at the vet for another, for two days getting like a fluids and because apparently it would, um, it's very bad for their kidneys and their kidneys can stop working so be careful about those kittens licking the leaves especially those inside ones that never goes outside okay i think i think i like what i have here i always have to stop myself and come back if i need to I'm just like I'm seeing a row here yeah, and I'm seeing a row over there so I'm thinking I need to break that. And now I'm just going to do the background here and I'm just going to do little dots. I did speed up the video a little but I do not paint as fast. You should know that by now. So I'm just like making little blobs, trying to go bigger as I get to the front, smaller to the back, and it's just like, I'm just like picking up some paint and it's all different colors of paint. And I'm just like putting the brush down like just little blobs of paint. I don't really care about the shape of it and then a few back there these need to be a lot smaller and maybe a lot like not too much of the brighter yellow maybe use more of the darker yellow because obviously they further away keep on changing my mind about where I want these to be kind of hard to decide
So you can see it almost looks like there's a little bit more light over there. There's more light here. I don't know, maybe that's just how the sun is catching it. I didn't do it on purpose, it happened by accident. Don't you aren't you happy when there's like a happy accident? <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in with do I do the brown first or do I do my leaves first? I think I'm gonna do my leaves first. See, this is still for me, it's a little I still needed the darker brown for back there. I still need it to be a bit dark. I don't want it to stand out as much as. Now this is like you have to like have a really little paint on your brush. I'm just going in between. Maybe that's too brown. I'll just pick up some of this green there. You have to bring in some of the green in here too because now you don't just want yellow. You want some of the greenery in here. You're gonna be like all that work to put the paint in that bottle and then she doesn't use it. They will use it, don't worry. <laughs> These now you know how I get it in the bottle. That mis mystery is solved. My grandson, when he was like small, started to talk, he couldn't say mystery. He would always say it's a misery. So the misery is solved. I don't even think you can see the green that I'm doing here, but eventually it would make a difference to me. And it's very little, there's not a lot of it happening. And I just want to break up the, the background where the flowers is a little bit. So it's not just so. Get a little bit more brown here. Go back there. Especially over here, I have a lot of brown, so I don't want to go too green. You definitely want to break up the background here, yeah, because the background is just smooth. We need it to look more like plants and things like that. some of the green. I think that's... I have to step away to see where I missed or... Okay, there we go. What, what's next? I didn't even set the timer. I have no idea how long I've been painting. I am going to do this part now. I'm just going to practice on here a little bit, just make sure the paint is right that's in here. See, so I just want to, I want to make a, a stem and then I want the leaves to be kind of big. I have to do them like this, otherwise I'm going to go like this. I don't like that pointy, I think. The leaves for sunflower is more like round. 
That was a little blurt there. Get the paper towel ready for the nose. Let's take this out of the way. So I'm just going to start with the flower that's most to the front. And then just put some leaves there. Maybe. And then um, I'll have this one. So I'll have leaves over there. This one. be more random with the leaves. This one can have more of these go over here. Let's put in some random leaves here. Yeah. We're gonna need some stems that starts over there. Let's get some of them here. The leaf over there, something over there. Oh, this one still needs a stem. And I'm gonna do the brown for the um, the insides of the flowers. I'm gonna make the brown and I want a little more of a, a little lighter brown there. Putting some white with it so it's not so transparent. And when you mix with your paintbrush, you have to clean it because otherwise it becomes just a big fat blob. That's why you should use the back of the paintbrush to mix. Do as I tell you to do, not as I not as I do. This is too light. Far too light. Now I'm also blobbing it. So it's not so, just one color. Because my paint is not perfectly mixed, it will not be one color. And as I go to the back, I try and go a little darker. Wow. I need something for this flower. It's also like a sideways flower. Like, because those are also leaves, it's like folding over. I have a big old one here. Yeah. This one, I can't see the inside is one. That's a little bit behind the other, so I want it to be a little darker. There's another one. Okay. I don't know what this is. We'll see when I take the tape off. I might have to fix up. Okay, so now it's like... Which ones did I miss? We can play a game. It's like, where did I miss the core? Put a little bit of brown on some of these so it looks like We are seeing some of the core also. 
I don't think I have to do too much there. Oh, there's another one that's kind of obvious. See, if they were in a row, it would be much easier to find them. That one is sideways. I think I got most of them. And I am very happy with my painting. I was thinking I should outline these, but for now I'm just gonna leave it. Let me know what you think. I hope you had fun painting with me. Usually I would wait until it's dry before I do this kind of thing because it might be a disaster. But because they go in straight lines, I will see I don't know where I started. You take off I guess the top ones first. This is where the most of the paint is. Let's see if it works if I if I take this off. If one the painting still makes sense because it needs something else. So this one has the, a lot of paint on it. There. I like. I wanted these to look like they behind this and it does look like it because you can still see the lines in front. I'm just going to fix up a few small things. I'm like my own worst enemy when it comes to painting. I never know when to stop. I need a few yellow ones here. Just so that flower looks a little bit more full. That's okay, that one's okay. Maybe some over there. I think that's enough. All good.